Hey guys, what's up? Hope everyone is doing really, really well. I've got two videos coming up today. Um, first, firstly today, um, I want to just show you a little bit of a haul from stuff and some stuff I've picked up recently. Went to Supernova Pop Culture Expo last week. Um, well, they call it Supernova Comic Con now, which is, which is, I think they changed that just before this year. So, Supernova Comic Con. Um, yeah, went to that. It was wasn't a big day um, where I was only there for a couple of hours I did um, I worked a massive week last week and I worked six days straight so I was pretty exhausted and I just wanted to have a, a day to chill out so I went and got what I wanted um, and I was really really happy with the outcome um, got to meet some people that I really wanted to meet so that was exciting um, so yeah what I what I got firstly um, there was a Lucasfilm commissioned artist known as uh, Mark Ratz. I believe that's how he pronounced his last name. It's R-A-A-T-S. Um, you can look him up at www.markratz.com. Oh, um, yeah, you can check out his art. He's actually signed and personalized this, this print for me. Um, yeah, I just stopped and we stopped and had a chat with him for for five minutes and um, talked about how we were over at Celebration early in the year and uh, yeah he was there and I didn't get a chance to um, didn't get a chance to meet him um, that weekend was just that weekend was just so busy didn't get a chance so it was awesome to have him come down to Australia um, and this print is amazing I'm gonna try and get a frame for it this weekend um, and get that hung up on the wall because it's it's pretty amazing. So, uh, yeah, that was... I'm still really, really pumped about this print. So I'm just going to lay that down. Also got to meet uh, Brian Herring, who did the puppetry work for BB-8 in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Um, if you watch the behind the scenes and stuff, you, there's a guy running around in a green suit pushing, pushing BB-8 along with like a couple of handles. That's him. Um, he also did the little droid um, from the start of Rogue One on Galen Erso's farm planet Lamu. There's a little droid out there make, working on the moisture evaporator thing. That was that was him too. So I got this print signed. So, yeah, that was pretty exciting. He was a really nice guy, too. Um, so I was really, really happy to meet Brian. He was a, he was a gentleman. Um, chatted with him for a couple of minutes, and, uh, yeah, I was, I was really, really excited to add another another signature to the, uh, to the wall. So I can't wait to hang this one up. So that's that one. I also picked up something I've been wanting to pick up for a little while. But I've, uh, I've had some trouble finding one for a good price. <laughs> And I got the Mark Hamill Simpsons action figure, which I haven't opened yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I might just hang it on a wall. But uh, yeah, I'll, that's what it's one of my favourite episodes of The Simpsons. Um, you know, the whole use the forks. But no, the forks. That was a funny episode. And I finally, finally found it for a good price from uh, Pop Culture, which is a. Australian online store and they've got an outlet in Geelong in Victoria. So I was really happy to find that. Um, also in the post I've got a couple, I've got a, oh, sorry, firstly I went out to the city last night, went to the comic book store um, to get the new trade paperbacks that have just come out over the last week or two. Um, the, all three comic book stores I went to had sold out of the Darth Vader. Um, which was the post Revenge of the Sith Vader comic, um, but I did get to pick up Captain Phasma. This is part of the journey to the Last Jedi, so I'm looking forward to reading this one. I picked up the issue one, and uh, I didn't read it. I wanted to wait, but I'm collecting issue one, so um, yeah, I just I wanted to wait until I could sit and read the whole book. So hopefully, do that over the weekend as well. And Poe Dameron number three. So I'm excited to continue the story. I'm a big fan of the uh, Poe Dameron series. Um, the last, the last trade was quite, quite, 
quite good so I'm really looking forward to getting into this one as well so hopefully get some time in the next couple of weeks for that and then hopefully I can go grab uh, the Darth Vader book soon lastly I uh, picked up one more book I got this posted from uh, booktopia.com.au um, which is a site I use quite frequently good prices and they, they do a lot of offering of free shipping um, through emails and stuff so picked up the Stormtroopers uh, Beyond the Armour book and this is this is a really impressive book I won't flick through it too much but uh, you know it's got all the little extra bits and pieces fold out pages um, goes through legends and uh, very touches very briefly on the last Jedi they show the Praetorian guards and the uh, executioner stormtrooper but uh, goes straight through the clone army um, into the Imperial Navy um, up through Rogue One and the new troopers they come up with that all the way back to sort of concepts and um, yeah it's a great book I definitely recommend it I haven't had a great deal of time to sit down and read through it but uh, again hopefully get some time soon to sit back and have a read through this book that's another journey to the last Jedi part of that sort of campaign in the lead up to the movie and all the uh, and all the merchandise that comes out with that so I definitely recommend this book uh, how many pages is it just just while I'm here quickly doesn't have page numbers at least it does at the top so about 170 172 pages which is which is a nice book so uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to sitting down and reading that a little bit more. But my next video coming up today is my contest that I've been putting off for a little while. Not putting it off, but just haven't had time to do it. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to upload that today and yeah, stay tuned for the next video because that's what will be coming up next. So until my next video, guys, may the force be with you.